Hey everybody, how's it going? It's the Crystal Flaffy, and welcome to episode 11 of our Pokemon Prism Nuzlocke Challenge Let's Play. Now, in the last episode, guys, we made our way over here to... I forget the name of this city. Uh, and also, we did that whole insane Magikarp puzzle, which was pretty awesome. Pretty awesome for people that love puzzles. For those that don't, you probably wouldn't have enjoyed it, but... I did. I did. So, anyway... Um, today, well, before we go on about what we're going to do today, let's have a quick party recap, because I, did, oh, no, not dig. I did grind up a little bit. Just a little, just a little. Um, uh, got our mont up to level 26, because they were between 23 and 26. I think Festus was already at 26, or he was, like, level 25 or something like that. But the reason for this is because I want to be adequately leveled to go through that, um, <coughs> Pachisi Hall. Because I want to do that. I want to do that in today's episode. And also I want to take on that gym that was to the bottom right or something of the city. So that's what we're going to do. And anyway, let's go with the party recap. So we got Kaiju or Pupitar holding the hard stone with Dig, Sandstorm, Rock Throw, and Bite. We have Empathy or Curlia with holding the soft sand that knows Confusion, Draining Kiss, Mud Slap, and Will-O-Wisp. We got Yemma the Snow Run with Icy Wind. Learned Freeze Burn when gr when I was grinding. Freeze Burn is a pretty cool ass move. Um, it's obviously invented for this hack, and it's an Ice type move, obviously, but it has a chance to either freeze or burn, and it's like base 80 power. I don't remember the power. We'll double check right after this. Um, and then we also also I decided fuck it. We're gonna teach Yemma here Tri Attack, and he already knew Bite, so nothing new there. Uh, tri is one of the TMs in this game. <clears throat> then we have Festus Arquilava holding the Orenberry with Flame Wheel, Quick Attack, Learn Double Kick. I'm pretty sure that was in the grinding. I don't... No, no, that was last episode that he learned Double Kick. Yeah, we got rid of Smoke Screen for it. And then he also knows Cut, which we hope to get rid of very soon. Then we have Bashful or Flaffy holding the Confuse Guard so it can't get confused. And also knows Spark, Thundershock, Cotton Spore, and Sand Attack. We need some coverage for Bashful because this is pretty shitty coverage right here. Then last but certainly not least, we have Hooksbane, our newest member, the Croconaw, holding the Mystic Water, knows Metal Claw, Bite, Aqua Jet, and Fury Cutter. So real quick, let's take a look at what Freeze Burn is. It's a 75 base power, 80 accuracy move, special, it's a special move. Ice type can either freeze or burn the foe. I wonder what the per like the percentage is. But anyway, we're going to head over here to Pachisi Hall, I believe, yeah, it was this one here. Um, wait, let's see what our medication's looking like. We got a couple super po- Oh, I went back and I got, uh... What's it called? Uh, oh, I also picked up a rare candy, too. Um, where was that? I believe that was in this city that I got the rare candy. Yeah, it was right over here. It was all the way over here that I got the rare candy. All the way right here. That's where the rare candy was. Anyway. Um, we ended off the episode in that other town, the town with that big-ass mart, trying to find mining picks. Um, but I ended up finding where they are there in Heath Village. I'm just looking around here to see if there's anything other than the guy, and there is. This game is just about pure luck, which is why I always lose at this, naturally. Nope, no pity for an old man. Yo, I think we're gonna lose at this too, then. But this is what we're gonna do, this is what we're gonna do. We do not have enough money to play it, so we... Never mind. Never mind that. We're not doing that this episode. We're not doing that this episode. Maybe we'll come back and do it sometime in the future. Maybe. Um, hopefully there's, like, a good reward for it. Um, but let's see what this gym leader got to say. Oh, <coughs> okay, it's just, like, one person in the gym. There's only... There's no other trainers or anything. And why is this sprite black and white? Ah! Who are you? Ah, that's right. I'm a gym leader, and this is a gym. I suppose you are here for my badge. Well, truth is, I haven't accepted gym challenges for three full years now. I used to dream, but now I don't, and it depresses me oh so greatly. I used to go on so many adventures with my Pokemon. The wide green fields I enjoyed as a young lad are starting to vanish from my mind. Those dreams used to be what pushed me to move on, but now, no motivation to do anything. So until I find a way to dream once again, you're not going to get a shot at my back. Oh. Ass-ho. 
Okay, then what are we supposed to do? Um. Well, to the left of the town was the route back to Mount Cave, but we've been there already. And then to the right of the town was uh, another route, but you need Surf to continue. So I guess we go down this way? We went down here, we got our encounter already. Um, so let's see. Um, this guy's on the water, so he looks like he's going to be a fisherman. Or something like that. He's going to have water-type Pokemon. I've been reeling him in. See, he's been reeling him in today. So he's got them Wobbly-type Pokemon. Uh, that's what he's going to be rocking. He's going to send out a Magikarp. So we don't have to worry about anything. Because Magik... Oh, it's level 37! Holy shit! What? Um, I hope it only knows Splash. I hope so. This is kind of ridiculous. It's kind of wild. If I do say so myself. Um... Hmm, my girlfriend's going to go get me a bubble tea. Sorry, my phone vibrated and I got a message. I need to answer this real quick. Let's see what we can kill off. Let's kill off this Magikarp first. I'll get some watermelon. Bubble tea. With some tapioca. Yeah, that's what I'm going to get. That's what I'm going to get. Um, oh shit, I forgot to make sure that she knew it's watermelon slush. Um. There we go. Okay, okay. So we're gonna get a watermelon slush with tapioca, because the tapioca acts as like the, the watermelon seeds, you know? And it's a, it's a Phoebus, which I'm guessing is going to be level... 37 as well. Yes, it is. Let's see what's stronger. Let's see what hits, hits harder. Let's see what hits harder. Thundershock or Spark. Hmm. I guess Spark is... Because I know Spark is a stronger move, but I'm pretty sure Bashful has a higher special attack than a physical attack stat. But I'm not sure if Phoebus and Magikarp have different stats. I know they have like the same stats for the most part. But I'm not sure about their defenses. Like I know their offenses are both absolutely terrible. They have the same speed stat. And I think the same HP. Oh, we don't need to heal. Oh man, you guys already know. Like every episode, I s wow, a Milo Milotic. Level twenty-seven. Okay, it's an acceptable level. It's an acceptable level, but we're, we got a spark because um, Milotic special defense is true to roof. It's true to roof. And if you guys haven't already noticed, I am louder than normal because I'm home alone today, so I can be as loud as I want. Yeah, I like that. I like it when I can be louder. I like it when I can be eccentric and not have to worry. I kind of am worrying. Right? Okay, she goes for rap and misses. Oh, he. That's why he isn't going for attract, you know, because my Lodics like to go for attract because they're sluts. Um, Twister. Okay, Twister shouldn't kill. Twister shouldn't do much. Bubble Beam was doing a lot and was actually scary. We got flinched. That's a bullshit. Um... But yeah, like, I'm not, besides the flinch t chance, I'm not scared of Twister because it's not going to do too much damage. Whereas that bubble beam, that was, that was some scary shit right there. But now the bubble beam comes off and we don't even have to worry about getting flinched now. So we can just safely take this Milotic out. Take it out. But it's good to see that we're, assuming this Milotic is on, like, the, the level the Milotic was at was the like generic level for everybody that we're about to face then that makes me happy because that means we're just slightly under leveled I was instructed to guard this bridge for now maybe if you had more badges I would feel more comfortable to let you through but I can't get more badges because the gym leader won't let me what was in this house again oh yeah it was the melting place oh can I do anything here because I like I found that smelting place at the end of the episode. Um, 
Let's just speed up through. I'm done talking to him. Um, I know I have like something. I got like an iron ore or something, but it's not like in my bag. Like when I did smelting. Cause I'll, I'll see. Uh, see my smelting. It's like it's got a bit of experience on it. And we're holding 24 grams of ash. So let's see if we can make any rings. Oh no, we can't. We get 25 is the lowest. Yeah. Okay. We'll come back here eventually. We'll come back here eventually. I guess that's to like level up our jeweling. What are the the four things? Mining, jeweling, smelting, crafting. Okay. Um. So we can't take on the gym. We can't go through any of the routes. I know there was nowhere like backwards that we were supposed to go. So I guess we were supposed to get on the magnet train. Can we get on the magnet train? Oh, okay, let's try going to Kanto. Oh no. Okay, let's go to the greatest region in all of Pokemon history. Let's go to Johto. We need a magnet pass. What about Rejon? Can we go to Rejon? We can go to Rejon. We don't need a magnet pass for Rejon. So I guess that's where we're going. We are going to the Rejon region. Um, it's cool that all these regions are like super close together. Um, that is very cool. I am in my opinion, my opinion, my honest opinion. Welcome to Botan City, Rijon. A cave used to stand here, but they demolished it to make way for this very train station. So, oh, I like this sprites. These are like old school sprites, man. Botan City, Botan Station. So I guess we're gonna explore Botan. You better not be from Nalho. Yo, asshole. What's down here? Um, we're not letting you through. This place is quarantined for now. Okie dokie. So let's explore Taz. The ghosts up to the north keep playing nasty pranks on people. I wish they'd mind their manners so we can go find ghost Pokemon. That's all I'm hearing from her. That is all I'm hearing from her. There's nobody else in this mart, so let's just see what this guy got to sell. Um, nothing much really, but we'll buy some super potions. We'll buy a couple super potions. Oh, you know, we just had enough money to go do the fucking Pachisi Hall thing, too. That was dumb of me. I was a construction worker for that building. I now regret it. Okay. Pokemon centers aren't allowed to exist here. It's a strong belief that they don't like people to be... Don't like Pokemon to be healed that way. Who's they? The city of nostalgia. Definitely the city of nostalgia based on these sprites. Why is it another QR code? What do the QR codes do? This city has to be Region's strangest city. No other cities have to deal with the surprises we always get. And I... Uh, what's up here? Oh, this is a pathway to somewhere else. Ghosts can change their landscape, so enter at your own risk. Okay, we'll go that way after. Let's finish exploring the city. Oh, I guess, like, this is the last bit of the city. We're the only town that still bothers to farm. And we can't go this way. Okay. Okay. So I guess we have to go through this place. And there's nothing off to this side. No. Haunted Forest. So, if, you, if there are wild Pokemon here... Which there is, we get our new encounter, which is a Ghastly! That's an amazing encounter. That is an amazing encounter. I am so happy about that. We are going to get this Ghastly, and we are going to put him on the team. But is there any tang we can hit it with? Um, Not really. We can hit it with a Draining Kiss from Empathy. That shouldn't kill. Okay, never mind. We're not going to hit it with anything. We're just going to throw a Pokeball right away because that was... I'm not risking letting this thing go down. We're throwing a Great Ball. We are not letting this thing go down. We are not. One. Two. Fuck, man. No. Oh, shit. Okay, we have to play, like, super safe with this. Um, I kind of want to heal. Yeah, let's heal. Because when it attacks... Uh, let's, let's Will-O-Wisp. Let's burn it. Get some status going. Get some status going. Astonish. Okay, it does do a, around the same amount as Curse does, so... 
<sighs> would 50 work? Yeah, 50 would bring us back up to full. Okay, so... Let's soda pop. Please don't go for the laughing gas again. Okay, okay, okay. And this is the turn where we throw that Pokeball because... We're risking empathy here. We're risking empathy. One, two, three. Yes! Oh man, that was terrifying. If it broke out and used laughing gas, there goes empathy. There goes empathy. Oh my god. And it's not like we could have switched out because we were mean lucked. Oh man. Like my my heart is it is pumping. It's pumping. Um but of course it has laughing gas if it's the gas Pokemon and its name is gas it has gas in its name. It wraps its opponents in its gas like body, slowly weakening its prey by poisoning poisoning it through the skin. Um, it's a female. Um, normally I like to name my Gastly's Oogie Boogie. Because Gengar looks like Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. But uh, it's a female, so... Okay, let me think. Let me think about this one. Let me think about this one right here. I kind of want to go with... Oh, wait. What's, um... What's that? Do What's the dog's name from Nightmare Before Christmas? What's the dog's name? I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um. <laughs> We're just gonna name her Sally. She's gonna be Sally. But that's cool. That's a cool member to add to the team. Okay, we don't have to heal, we don't have to heal. But who, let's put somebody that can hit these guys super effectively in our, in the front of our party. Wait, nope, nope, they're gonna have levitate. So nope, we can't be doing that. Let's put Yemma in front because Yemma has bite, so we can do that. For those who live wisely in this, in life, even death itself isn't to be feared. Okay, good to know, good to know. Sage Genjo. That animation, though, like, for the Ghastly's face, I love that. I wonder what would be stronger, Bite or Freeze Burn? Well, probably Freeze Burn, because it's, well, it's hard to say, because Bite... Bite is 60 power, times 2 for super effective, so 120. Okay, Bite would be stronger, because Freeze Burn is uh, 75 power, and plus 50% for Stab is less than that. And we're going to switch because we are cursed. And Shepard's going to come out. Who else has bite? Hooksbane has bite. So Hooksbane should be able to deal with this this Shepard. This Shupal. Shopay. It frisked its foe. But we can just bite it real quick. Eat it all up. Nom nom nom. Hooksbane is taking lives. And getting his stomach satisfied. Um, I actually want some food right now because I am hungry. I am actually pretty hungry, even though I just ate. Like, to, I, today I've been eating. I've been eating a lot. Uh, let's go for... Okay, let's see real quick uh, for Yama's stats. Um, it's, its attack is three points higher, which doesn't really mean much. So, I guess Bite is the go-to play. Um, it, it's has higher power we got a crit anyway so it doesn't matter but as higher power we have a slightly higher attack stat so it makes sense but before we go to the right i kind of want to go up like before we go this way um let's just run before we go to the right over there let's go up here okay um so these are a bunch of oh there's zubat here Happy we got the ghastly encounter then. So talking to the gravestone so far does nothing. Except this red one. Wait, what? That sound is reassuring. What does that do? Does that like change? Like, 
Oh, the guys, the, the other guy said like the place changes shape. So maybe talking to that grave changes the shape of the place, you know? Maybe that's what's happening. TMO5 Nightshade. That is pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, set damage is always nice. Um, let's see who can learn this this bad boy. Yemma can, but we have Bite and Try Attack. We already have good moves. I don't want to get rid of Icy Wind, even though we have two Ice-type moves, because it does lower speed, which is very convenient. Um, we can get rid of it. We can teach it to Empathy and get rid of Mud Slap. I'm surprised Kaiju can learn it. Why can Kaiju learn it? Um, oh wait, wasn't T didn't TM5 used to be Roar? So maybe that, maybe like it learned Roar and then like they forgot to change it. Um, cause, well also because it evolves to a Dark type, maybe that could be, oh we have a Repel. We have a bunch of Repels. We're using them. Let's see what's this way. Oh, there's another Tombstone. What's this one? Why is it? It's a brown gravestone. That doesn't sound reassuring. It's a blue gravestone. That doesn't sound reassuring. Maybe if I talk to them again. No. Do I have to go back to the red one? I guess I'd like to use another repel. They have the updated repel system in this game. That's awesome. Um. Ooh, it's another person. Believe nothing, no matter where you read it, or who said it, no matter if it, I had said it, I never, blah, 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 I lost that word, so I don't know what the rest of the, the I don't know. And out comes the Death Skull. I'm loving the Pokemon that we're seeing, I love ghost types, ghost types are really cool. Um, ghost types are actually very cool Pokemon. And we got the flinch. Yemma coming through. I really hope Yemma does not evolve at level 40 in this game. They lowered the level Pupitar evolves, or the level Larvitar evolves into Pupitar. They better have lowered the level Yem uh, Snowrun evolves to... Glalie. That's its name. Its name is Glalie. And we got another flinch. See, Yemma's just asking to evolve. He's asking to evolve. He's begging to evolve. Out comes the shove it. Yama should be able to take this out. Yo, if we get a third flinch. Come on, Yama. Oh, I didn't. But it, it cursed anyway, so... <clears throat> Whatever. Useless turn for that shove it. So, uh, let's save this PP. Save this PP, you know? So it wasn't useless. The shove it was just helping us out. It's helping us out. Just saw that we got two flinches in a row, and it's just like, you know, we can't beat this guy. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to, like, ring them in a certain order. Oh, that music. It's so eerie. Um, I'm gonna guess that... Oh, I wanted to read what he said, actually. Okay, I'm gonna stop speeding up. I need to stop speeding up. Foresight. Useless move. I'm an ice type. Foresight is useless on ice types. Because, like, it's only used to hit, like, ghost types and normal types with, like, moves that don't affect. But ice isn't immune to any type, so... Useless. Useless! Go for a curse again. Or, or Yemma just one shot. That works, too. That works, too. Out comes the Haunter. Can this Haunter go for a curse? No, goes for hypnosis. Fuck this shit. Went for curse. Now we woke up and got bite. That was nice. <laughs> Our luck in today's episode is amazing. I'm guessing this is the end. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, there's an item over here. Stardust. We can sell that. We can get money. Can we actually cut these bushes? No, we can't. Okay. Okay. Oh, so this is the end of the road. But, like, I'm not ready to leave yet. I want to figure this out. Maybe it's supposed to be like red, blue, brown. Because like I remember we, we touched the brown one first. I mean, yeah. We touched the brown one first last time. Okay. 
So next we'll go over here and we'll touch the blue one. Nope. I don't get it. Maybe like one of these guys gives us advice. Nope, this guy did not. Um, I guess I don't... I have no clue how the fuck we're supposed to figure that out. What's this one do? See, this one... They all beep. Ooh, can we go to the left? Nope. What's this girl got to say? My grandmother used to own this very mansion. She always told me that true colors of the... The colors of the... Were originally... Red, gray, blue, yellow... Brown and teal. Oh, so... Wait. That's the order we need to press the buttons in. Okay, um... I know I got a pen and paper here somewhere. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's be smart people. At least for once in my life. Let's be smart. And write this shit down. Let's write this shit down. She always told me that the colors of the rainbow in order were red, gray, blue, yellow, brown, and teal. Okay. Even though none of those, well, like three of those colors are actually on the rainbow. So your grandma kind of lied to you. I guess we can't go over there. Yeah, we can't go through until we solve the puzzle. Okay. Let's do this then. Here's the red. Yes, we'll use another. Next up is gray, which was higher up. It wasn't the one right over here. I think it was over here. Yeah, gray. Now it's blue, so we need to go back down. I hope I have enough repels for this. I don't think I do, though. So, wait. It's blue. This was actually a really cool puzzle. Uh, next up is yellow, and then brown, and then teal. Okay. I think that... Oh, no. We still have one more. Or at least one more. So, yellow... Go back down. Brown. And last, but certainly not least. And there's our last repel. Teal. A hand reaches out of the ground and hands it. <sighs> so, the, the thought of that just like... Oh my god, I thought like some we were gonna have some boss battle thing type thing right there where like a Pokemon was gonna battle us and like it was gonna be some zombie shit. That's creepy. That was creepy. That was so fucking creepy. But it sucks that we're out of repels, man. Shit. Who knows? Maybe we'll run into a shiny. But we got the mansion key. Alright, now we can battle this grandma. We'll keep him in front just a little longer. Just a just a little longer. Just how did you figure out how to get the spare key? Your granddaughter told me, dipshit. God, man. Duskull, yo, yo. Yama here has a vendetta against Duskulls, okay? All these flinches we be getting. Like that one there. See? Yo! My luck is amazing today. I might record two episodes. I might record two episodes today if our luck continues like this. Trying to learn headbutt? Nah, we good. We good. We good with the attacks that we have. But out comes the Haunter. And I do want to switch Yemma out because level's getting pretty up there, you know. Go to Hooksbane. We're going to bite. Um, hopefully the like video isn't like skipping a lot. Because I know the last episode that I recorded seemed... Like, my laptop was, like, lagging or something. I don't know. But it seems to be doing fine right now. Hopefully, we don't have to deal with that again. Um, I should have... Well, he cursed anyway, so... Just saving PP, you know? Saving PP. That's what we're doing. Saving PP. 
So thank you, Haunter. We didn't have to waste a, another bite on you. Um, I did want to go for Aqua Jet there, but I was being like a little bit crazy, you know. Ooh, item. Found a rare candy. So now we have two rare candies. I do want to save these. Just for like, I don't know. Anything else in this room? Nope, let's go up here. Um, two super repels. Okay. Wait, is this like a different place than... Than outside? Because this is... Nope, it's all part of the same place. Okay, so the only encounters we can get in here are static encounters. So... So that sucks. Um, so hopefully there's a static encounter in here, though. Hopefully we can find, like, a, a boss Gengar that we can catch. Oh, no, not a Gengar, because that'd be dupes. Um, hopefully we can find, like... Wait, what? We went up, and then we came down. The ghosts are reclaiming their rightful land. Okay. They gonna have to get through me first! Okay? I ain't even from this place, you know? I'm from Naoho. You ho? Oh, fuck, I forgot. Let's just freeze burn so you guys can see the animation. Look at that shit, man! That's so fucking cool! I wonder what the chances for, like, the freeze and the burn to happen. Yo, can we get a freeze burn? Like, at the same time? So, like, they're frozen and can't attack, but they also take damage every turn? That'd be cool. I could fuck with that. There's a treasure chest there. Legend of, Legend of Zelda style. Let's get this. Um, You know what? Fuck it. We'll just stick Yem in front, because we don't really use Emma often. We got the bedroom key. Alright, so we're gonna go into this little girl's bedroom. But it's okay, we're, we're a little girl too, so... You're not ready to come down here. The Pokemon downstairs are too strong for you right now. Come back later. Okay. Thanks for the warning, God. girl. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the warning. Um, so let's go back over this way. And we'll go in this room here. Get this item. TM42. Whatever the fuck that is. Uh, let's see. Dream Eater. Okay, too bad nobody knows any sleep-inducing moves on our team. Um, I don't want to go in that, that room that needed the key just yet. I still want to explore, you know? Still want to explore. Izunami. Yo, that Spirit Tomb Sprite is amazing! I just spit, like, everywhere when I did that, like... But still, this is a... Oh, man, I love this sprite. This is very cool. The colors are just... Oh my god. That purple? You guys see that purple? We're still landing this. Oh no, we're not. Goes for faint attack. Does a fuck ton. So we're definitely gonna swap. We're definitely swapping. Um, I would go to empathy, but we're not gonna take a faint attack too comfortably. Like, I know empathy can train and kiss it. And probably take it out from there, but we're not gonna take. We're not gonna appreciate that. We ain't gonna appreciate no, no, faint attack. Aqua Jet does nothing. It did nothing. Let's bite so we can get flinches. Come on, come on, Huxbane. You, you can't be missing like that. You can't be missing like that. And you missed again. Alright, we gotta switch again. Let's try Bashful. We're gonna work our way up this list, okay? We're working our way up. Don't go for- don't- Okay, okay. It is an amazing thing that we switched out right there. Spear Tomb has the same defense and special defense. We got a crit. Doesn't even matter. Um, still trying to figure out what's, like, better to go for between Thundershock and Spark. You know, I should actually check just how much higher our, um... What's it called? Our attack is then our special attack on Bashful. Uh, our opposite. Special attack higher than special attack. It's higher by 12. So, not going to do too much. Um, what we're going to do right now, though... There we go. We don't even have... Okay, we killed it anyway. 
We're just gonna do some wild encounters to like wake ourselves up because I don't have any sleep healing items. All right, there we go. There we go. But we're gonna switch Yama back to the front and get this treasure chest, another bedroom key. So we got two of them. So we can sneak into two little girls' bedrooms. And I'm guessing that would be this here. Um, we already went through that door there. What am I doing? Wasting time. Open the door with a pair of... Oh, we needed both keys. Okay. And there's a boss, Gengar. Okay, stop. Why couldn't it be like a, a boss, Bennett? Something... <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. We gotta... How did I do that Gengar voice in Mystery Dungeon? I don't remember. Um... Gengar. <laughs> the dreams come to me now. I was starving. Ready for bedtime? <laughs> what just happened? What just happened right there? Where are... What is this? Are we in like a different place? No, we're still in the haunted forest. What just... What? Can we go up? What is this place? You know what, guys? We're going to check out the rest of this place in the next episode. Leaving you guys with this cliffhanger. Because we are already at over 30 minutes. Um, but anyways, guys, make sure you leave the like button down below for me. Not flow. Flow is not a word. Um, but leave the like button down below for me if you enjoyed. And comment answering the question of the day. And telling me what the fuck is going on. I'm so confused. I am definitely recording the next episode right after this. Because I am hyped to see what's going on in this place. And also, subscribe if you want to stay updated for the next video. Have yourselves a good day, and I'll see you guys all next time.